So here's the current outline of the course, but I have to tell you this is going to be updated and probably antiquated later, so I'll probably leave some comments somewhere of what the current course notes are. But you can download this course packet, currently at least at my webpage, which is at saemiller.com. And you can click on Navier Stokes in there and grab the course notes, at least one version of them. Uh, but who knows what the future holds? Maybe these videos or web page or course notes will be lost to time. But hopefully they'll impact you and influence your own research and future. So right now we're in the introduction section here. And uh, we're going to talk about the class, outline the course, we're interested in solutions. Then we'll have a lot of a lot of things on the overview and the history of the details of the course. The history, meaning the history of the Navier-Stokes equations. And we have many, many, many slides, and there's some books about the history. And I've tried to go into some detail. They weren't just written down. It was actually hundreds of people working on these things over many, many years to find a set of equations that we believe models fluid dynamics. This is a very mathematically intense subject, and you'll see that we need to have some kind of mathematical review. And I'll point out the major things, but there's way more material online and mathematicians who are better explaining it than I am. I'm not a mathematician. I wasn't smart enough to be one, but I'll try and explain the math as best as I can. A big part of the course will be the derivation of the Navier-Stokes equations. That's really important to know where they came from. After that, we'll look at their physical meaning. We'll also look at classical solutions. By classical solutions, I don't mean solutions like for laminar flow, like coet flow, or flow between parallel flights, or, or Stokes first problem or something. I'm talking about more general solutions. In analysis, I think stability of Navier-Stokes is really important, and the study of stability leads to turbulence and transition. So finding the stability of flows being laminar, transitional, or even turbulent are really important. We might also look at the equations from a dynamical systems perspective. We'll have a big section on the existence, uniqueness, and regularity of the equations. Existence in simple words means does the solution exist? Are the solutions unique? And are they regular? And we'll look at that in two and three dimensions. There's also something called ladder results, and we'll go down the rabbit hole there. We'll look at dissipation rates, and dissipation rates could be the rate at which energy is decreasing in a flow, in bounded flows or unbounded flows. We'll look up at blow up, meaning the solutions blowing up or becoming large rapidly. And there's something called Siren's criteria, which is really important capacitary approaches and the integral equations. We'll look at differential integral forms. We'll look at the so-called mild solutions in different spaces. They're very complicated. One of my favorite things to look at is Lee Ray's weak solution. Then we'll look at stochastic forms of Navier-Stokes equations, statistics and derivations of them. Normally in the class, I would have a discussion in the syllabus, but this is just recorded for my own interest, I suppose. So I will skip that. And I also usually would have handouts where I would blank out certain slides. Well, these videos are not blanked out. Where blanks would occur, I would normally ask students to write in their own notes. But you can create your own notes with paper or digital copies or just downloading the transcript and attaching it to these slides. You can probably download the videos somehow, if the host lets you somehow. Or like I said earlier, you can try to go to my website and grab them and use them in your own way. I hope they're just a basis for the understanding of the equations and launching your own career, or maybe just your own interest if you're like in computational fluid dynamics or an experimentalist. Either way, I think it will be useful to everybody in some capacity. But it, in terms of analysis, I think you can try and read the tea leaves to try and improve your own work.
This is on a bookshelf, just some of the books that you might be interested in the class. There's also many, many, many journal articles that we've pulled to look at this class. Some of these books are absolutely beautiful. For example, Turbulence and the Narrow Stokes Equations, I really appreciate. Um, another one that I really liked was, and uh, maybe most people refer to as this one here, Navier Stokes Equations by Chelsea Publishing. But all these books have some interest or uniqueness to them. And they're basically books that have the name Navier Stokes Equation in them. I have many more books, but this is just one of many pictures of them. I don't think you need to collect them all. And some of them are so specific, they probably have no bearing on reality, and that they're stuck in the mathematical analysis world. I think it's important to try and take the mathematical analysis and explain how it might alter our reality in physics and engineering.